hi welcome to my channel in this video i will teach you how to create placeholder in your gtx field so let's proceed create new project next then let's type place holder then here uh, let's delete this uh, statement in main method then uh, i need to adjust this okay so right click this one then let's add j frame j frame class okay j frame uh, placeholder then right click the navigator then properties then code then generate resize code to center then okay so as you can see uh, we need to display our created uh, placeholder here in gframe so let's um, call the gframe placeholder then placeholder this is the object then uh, ph the that is the object then ph then set visible true then next is we need to add a uh, class okay let's extend the gtx field so create class then let's uh, put gtx field no gtx field p then click finish P means a uh, placeholder. This is a uh, take GTX field. P means uh, placeholder. Then let's extend the um, GTX field. Okay, so we are extend extending the uh, GTX field in GTX field P. So click this one. Uh, save then uh, click this gtx field p then the, there's a warning here if you are using uh, azul zulu gdk so th that that will happen because of there's no uh, it be because there's a lot of issues about um oracle gdk so i install azul zulu gdk so able to drag this component to your G frame or your design then let's clean and build okay after that you can drag the uh, you can drag your GTX field P so let's try uh, let's run this G frame As you can see, if we delete these ticks, then uh, we are not yet see the placeholder because we don't modify the GTX field P. So, able to add um, placeholder, we need to paint the GTX field or G, J component. Okay, so let's close this, that one then proceed here let's um, put uh, paint to our text field so first is it requires the um, uh, requires the uh, placeholder text because um, we need to use create uh, our gtx build p as uh, user defined so private string then placeholder holder then equal so we need to put value here default value uh, place holder okay so uh, let's encapsulate this one able to um, user define because uh, we add method set placeholder so refactor 
then okay let's clean and build for okay then click this one then as you can see we add a method set placeholder say uh, where is it um, placeholder there's no placeholder okay let's delete this one then let's drag again then let's find the placeholder value okay there's a placeholder here this is the value we put here in placeholder uh, placeholder this one so we are not yet done because we we don't modify the paint in G component so let's create override the J uh, paint paint method in G component so let's modify so public uh, public void uh, no void uh, paint then graphics because requires a uh, graphics class in J then this is the method then let's call the super class of J component paint so let's so uh, type super then paint okay this method is from um, J component so we override so let's put uh, this method is override okay the next is we need to um, oh no we don't uh, we have a condition here if our text is empty then we add we add placeholder so uh, we need to get uh, call the method get text from um, gtx component so then get length oh no length method and equal zero means uh, our text field is empty the next is we need to get the height of our component so and then each then equals get height from G component this is the method get height from G component the next is we need to call the insist insist then next equals is to uh, equal no uh, ob, me, ob instance variable insist then equal then get insist in j component then let's import this insist no okay The next is we need to uh, Im import the font metrics because if we change the um, the font size, it automatically adjust the location. So, I know the the dimension of your um, your your text field. So graphics then get font matrix the next is we need to add background color tint background color okay then I uh, get background from um, component background okay the next is we need to get the why no because this is not uh, this is a method but that is not integer so we need to get uh, RGB okay then foreground equals get 
foreground from your component this is from uh, from J component that get RGB okay the next is we need to add color this is I copy this in um, G component and maybe this is a negative value uh, six I think this is 16 million X if we if we okay the next is I think is it four or is, is it okay okay never read because we we don't use it the next is we need to create condition here in um okay so this is a uh, color then um let's add background then and um this is a uh, color the next is okay let's add condition here this is oh, arithmetic then add uh, less than so that is a uh, logical shape right then let's put um, one the next is add the uh, foreground foreground then and m for this one then um arithmetic one one okay there's no error thank you so the next is we need to add color to our placeholder okay so graphics then set color okay this one okay this one color read because we don't uh, this this method uh, this paint requires um, negative so I think it's 12 million I don't know the number I forgot but uh, we need to uh, call the method to get the gray color this is color then to RGB yeah? this one then C then this okay this is true the next is let's drawing the um faint uh, let's put a uh, text so g dot get drawing uh no drawing draw that is that method um draw draw string okay because we add string then this one so placeholder so next is if we change the value of placeholder for example that is uh, username so we need to call the method get get placeholder the next is this is um insist then left the next is um this one okay this is correct the next is let's find the height then divide two then plus um the font matrix the next is no font matrix the next is 
to get ascent then divide 2 then minus 2 so we are done creating our placeholder so let's save then clean and build okay so let's try um okay here this one um let's edit this one okay we are let's try let's run okay we have placeholder here okay so let's put uh, for example admin so the placeholder okay we have placeholder here so let's change this as our uh, let's play uh, replace the placeholder as our username so let's find the placeholder then change the username then let's try to run run so we have username here okay the next is we need to add password okay for example g text password field let's add java class so g password field because uh, in hierarchy jtx component um, this uh, class G, G password field and jtx field extend jtx component so they are this uh, they are the same so if we extend the jtx we jtx uh, g password field okay password field then let's copy the this one copy this one oh no copy this one all the code because they are the same the same parents so let's put <coughs> okay so that's it uh, clean and build oh we have okay okay clean and build then proceed to G frame place uh, placeholder then let's click this one then the drag okay password then the text so we have placeholder here okay then let's change the placeholder as password uh, where is it password then this is a uh, username okay the next is uh, let's add button the text is login then password oh no cancel or close okay close okay okay let's try to run this project run okay we have placeholder here uh, admin for example then admin we have successfully created um, placeholder even you put it you copy this like in jtx area because jtx area extend jtx component so thank you guys for watching i hope you subscribe this channel if you like this video Okay, see you next video. Bye-bye.